Hello! I am Art and this is Tony. Hello. And we're here from GardenMastersWithAZ.com. Today's video is all about our Robolini palm problems. Robolini palm problems. Say Robolini that ten times fast. palm problems. Robolini palm problem. No, sorry. <laughs> Let's get on with it, Tony. Okay, anyway. We need to take care of our problem before our plant gets eaten up by bugs. Yes, well, what happened is this plant we purchased, I think it was last year or the year before, at one of the big box stores. They do sell this variety of palm in our area as a tropical, but we have to bring them in every year because they don't last up here. A lot of the varieties of palms you see in Florida, they don't sell them up here at all, but this one they do, and we really, really like it. So we wanted to try it again, didn't we? We did. Art, what are you doing? I am, I am brushing off the scale. The on scale the back of these. Hmm. Yeah. So you want to find out what scale is? Well, guess what? We have the answer a little later. Watch and find out. We are detectives. We are detectives. Detectives. Okay. What, so, what does that mean, Art? We have a problem. Oh no, a problem. We need to become the plant doctor. Okay. And right now, I'm only an intern on this situation. What do we have here? So, I want to introduce you to the Robolini palm. These palms are very difficult to keep growing. So, in the south, we, were, we just came back from Key West, by the way. And the Robolini palm will get a trunk. As you can see, the trunk is very, very small. Right now. But we'll show you a picture of a more mature one in the south. But this one is small. Yes, it is. These Robolini palms, we've often known them to get scale. Scale is a little, little spots that are on the back of the fronds. And when we brought this plant out from last winter, it had a situation. So it had these little white dots on the fronds. You can see that they, they have sucked out the sugars of the plant. We wiped off all the fronds and it lasted through the summer. But when we, we sprayed it with insecticidal oil, but still the warmth of the house has taken these insects so they're hatching. If you can see here, we have all of these white marks, they're fuzzy and that is the insect growing. So, I don't know if you can see that through there. Oh yeah, yeah. So, what we're gonna do right now is we've brought this out of the house so it does not infect other plants. We're gonna take a high pressure nozzle, blast the heck out of this plant, and then we're gonna treat it with either neem oil or insecticidal soap and now you didn't mention best. now you didn't mention that now we have a fire whistle um this is the um the it downfalls needs it needs urgent care tony <laughs> this urgent is, care this is the pitfalls of filming outside and you just gotta listen to it in the background sorry about that so <laughs> anyway you never mentioned that we think this might be mealybugs which is a scale insect and they leave this fuzzy stuff. So and this it, is pretty extreme at this point. It is. You can see how heavy it is on there. Yep. And we brought it outside. We're gonna treat it so it doesn't infect our other house plants. First thing I'm gonna do, Tony, is high pressure nozzle. I'm gonna try to blast off as much as possible of anything that is loose. It 
It's amazing that that high pressure doesn't hurt the plant. Oh, believe me, the bugs are hurt. hurting the plant more than the water. The plant's saying, free me from the bugs. Art is now spraying the plant with insecticidal soap, and upon inspection, we noticed most of that woolly, woolly substance, substance the, uh, the little off. fuzzy stuff is off now. And now we're going to try to kill the bugs. I just want to point out that there is still, this is like the scale form. And you can see that even with my fingernail, it's hard to scrape off. So we're hoping, can you see it there, folks? So those have not hatched yet. And I'm hoping the insecticidal soap is going to help suffocate them. And that, my friends, is how you take care of mealybugs and scale on plants. I can't say that we're out of the woods yet, but we have made a big difference with this plant. Be sure to check out this other video on our channel of another palm plant we're having a problem with. In addition, subscribe to our channel and also subscribe to our free newsletter where you'll get other gardening tips by going to gardenmasterswithaz.com forward slash subscribe.